Maya Angelou once said, my mission in life is not to merely survive, but to thrive, and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. I've always had an eye for fashion. As a little girl, I can remember having a personal shopper at Nordstrom's all the way, I feel like since I was in kindergarten. Fashion design has always been my thing. I have always been a glam girl, but the road to get to where I am today would consist of a lot of detours. At the age of two, I was taken away from my biological mom due to her battle with addiction. My grandparents took guardianship of me and raised me in a loving environment, but the love I didn't receive from my biological mom was really hard to deal with. But back then, we didn't talk about these things. I grew up in Cerritos in an upper middle class neighborhood. My parents always taught me, get an education, find a job with good benefits and retire. This was the formula and don't dare dream outside of that. But I was a wild child. I was like, I'm gonna be a princess. <laughs> they provided me with an amazing life, but they worked all the time. And it's something that always stood out to me. I was always the kid that arrived first at daycare and was the last to be picked up. My parents worked literally sun up to sundown. And I knew immediately this was not gonna be my life. My vivid imagination, obsession with Barbies and seeing my mom dressed to the T as she headed off to work each day was the start of my love for fashion. I would draw amazing outfits in my collections. I would tie together sheets and make wedding gowns. I remember my cousin Pam giving me some Chanel paper dolls and I have literally been chasing their life ever since. I wanted to be one of those dolls. Fast forward to high school, I lost my mind. I rebelled against my parents because I didn't know why I couldn't be with my birth mom. I eventually reconnected with her when I turned 17 and moved to Louisiana to live with her and it was a horrible experience. I regrouped, went back home to California and took the advice of my parents and enrolled in community college to become a teacher. And by the time I reached junior year, I had earned my AA and was teaching preschool. And when I started making the money and saw my salary, it did not match up with the fabulous life that I wanted. For my future self, I quit. I was well into my 20s, wanted more for myself and fashion was still in me. So I pursued acting, modeling, all while working in clubs, doing bottle service, bartending, whatever I could do to make a bunch of money really quick. But all I could think about was my fashion moment, those Chanel paper dolls, and the moment when I saw black women being extremely glamorous. Michael Jackson, remember the time video. But I still got to feed my fashion dreams. I was literally in like 30 music videos during my 20s. And when I would show up, the stylist never had options for me. I was really petite. So I would bring at least three suitcases every time with all these fabulous options. And that's how I got to know so many stylists. And also in the clubs, when I wore my outfits to work, everybody wanted to know where I got my look. So fast forward to my 30s. I really felt that I needed to get my life together. I couldn't see myself as a bottle girl working in the club and fashion was still my thing. So I started familiarizing myself with the fashion district and became a buyer. In 2014, I launched a boutique with a partner. It didn't work out. We were poorly structured and didn't know much about business. It was definitely a teachable moment that helped me get on track to run my own business several years later. In 2017, I regrouped, took some fashion design classes, put a two woman team together and launched my independent virtual online boutique, Shop Nicole Linnell. And within a week, we were up and running, successfully hitting our daily goals and selling out weeks later. In 2018, I launched my original denim line and it took my business to the next level. Taking the time to learn the business and learn more about fashion design the second time around was the winning combination. Within a few years, I've grown my company into a multi-million dollar business. I put in the work and now I am blessed to have gone from buying clothes at Nordstrom's to working there, to having my own line and now the label nationwide. My road to success took a lot of detours, but it was worth every twist and turn. And if I can launch my business and sustain amid the worst retail environment in history, you can too. Join me for Vault 365 training experience on Tuesday, April 12th, as we discuss mapping out the right pathway in your career and more.